This video is going to be about how to install Windows 7 on your MacBook Pro without an optical disk or an optical drive. In this case, we're talking about older MacBook Pros, not newer ones that can actually boot a Windows installer from a USB. These older ones actually cannot do that. So we're going to show you how to do that on this machine. And you're going to need some pieces of software to do this. You're going to need a copy of VMware Fusion here. You're going to need a copy of WinClone, which is not free. I believe that costs $20. You're going to need a copy of uh, Paragon VMDK mounter. Make sure I got that right. Yep. And that's pretty much all you're going to need from here. So let's get started. I'm going to fire up VMware Fusion, add a virtual machine. And we're going to create a custom virtual machine for the OS we want to install, in this case Windows 7, 64-bit. Create new 60 gig hard disk, that is fine for what we're about to do. Click customize settings. And we're going to name this Boot Camp Installer. That also bypasses its auto starting because we do need to access some settings. Now I do this, um, all this may be unnecessary. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and do it without really messing with this. But normally, if this doesn't work, what I do is I come back here and I set this to basically SATA. But what we wanna do is we want to pre-allocate the disk space and it's gonna take a while here and reconfigure the virtual disk. So we want that to just take its time and such. So we'll be. All right, well now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna back out, back up into this. Before we start the virtual machine, we will wanna tell it that we want to install from our disk image. So we're gonna do that, play, And now we're booting. While this is doing this, you will want to go over in the disk utility. And obviously our boot camp drive is not mounted, but you will want to make sure it is formatted at FAT32 because that is going to matter. Actually, it's not going to matter because this is, well, it will matter, my bad. You will want to format your boot camp partition as FAT32 because you're going to need that for WinClone to recognize it as a boot camp partition. And this is going to take a little bit to start up, so apologize for the wait. And we're in. So choose your language, all that wonderful stuff. Go ahead, install now. Obviously, if you're installing this from an optical drive, you won't need to do any of this because you can just go straight to installing because OS X can boot off an optical drive with Windows. Or not OS X, what am I saying? Windows can boot off an optical drive. The EFI supports that. So I'm going to go ahead, accept, bloody frickin' blah, custom, unallocated, click next. It's going to go ahead and partition it for us or format it for us. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to release your mouse, go up to virtual machine, shut down. You're not going to want to shut down just yet, but you will want to wait here until this is done. 
and when it starts to reboot then you're going to hit that shutdown button because we do not want to boot back up into windows so we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait i'll probably speed this up in post all right we're getting near the end here just cut out everything all the waiting because i kind of just popped open itunes and listening to some music while i was waiting so we're almost done and we're not going to make the same mistake i did which i'll highlight when we go over it in a second it just saves a couple of minutes when you go to actually get boot into the rest of the installation later but we'll get to that when we get to it of course it's going to take forever on like the last four percent or it's going to expand now, or it has been expanding, herp a derp. All right, I'm going to get ready, because these two are going to actually move by very quickly. I do know I'm not actually going to proceed through a normal Windows installation here. I'm actually going to stop when we get to that part, because I've already got Windows installed. But from when you reboot into Windows, Basically, it'll be like a normal Windows 7 installation from then on. It's going to install updates because it actually does have an internet connection right now. Alright, here we go. So it's going to want to restart. You're going to want to let it complete this time. We want to hit the shutdown button right as it reboots into the VMware BIOS. So the mint right now. Boom, perfectly timed. Okay, so we are officially done with VMware. We can go ahead and quit out of that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up Paragon VMDK mounter. And it should already have found our virtual machines directory. So here's our bootcamp installer. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to mount that. Boom, you've got your system reserved partition, your entitled partition. So, at this point, you're going to fire up WinClone. And what you're going to do is you're going to see this here. And unfortunately, since this is kind of different, you're not going to see the same stuff you would as if you were doing this for real. But what you can do here, click this, and this is why I told you to format your hard drive, your bootcamp partition is FAT32 if you haven't already, is it'll appear here as one of the destinations you can win clone onto. You're gonna click that, and you're gonna click restore to volume or whatever button this is, as if, you know, the same thing as if you were going to, and it'll do to do, tell you, ask you to confirm, yes, you want to confirm, I'm going to cancel out, and then you just let it do its thing, and it will clone this and the system reserve partition over to your new bootcamp partition. At that point, once it's complete, you quit out a win clone, you are completely done, and then you reboot into your Windows installation as if you were booting Windows. And how you do that, if you aren't already aware, is you can hold down Option as you're booting up the Mac before you hit the gray screen, or you can go to System Preferences. Now, I have not done it like this, but it should be appearing as a bootable volume here. Eh, it's not going to show up here for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, because I have the boot camp partition actually ejected right now, so I really can't touch that right now, but it'll appear here. You can reboot to it boom, you should be done. Once you boot into that partition, it'll proceed like a normal Windows installation. You will have to stay next to it because it will try to reboot back into OS X. So you'll need to be there to make sure it does not do that by holding down Option and selecting the Windows partition every single time. That's pretty much covers it up. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities in the comments. But